Using a TV antenna is a great way to get lots of free live TV. But is there a good way to combine free over the air channels into the same menu as Sling TV? And what if you want to record TV shows or even live sports on a local NBC or Fox station? Stick around because I'm going to show you the pros and cons of the Air TV 2, an over-the-air DVR that's made specifically for Sling TV users. Later on in the video, I'll give you a rundown on how it compares to another OTA DVR, the Fire TV Recast. Why am I comparing the Air TV 2 to the Recast and not some of the other OTA DVRs that I've been using over the last few years? The Air TV 2 and Fire TV Recast have similar features and are among the few over-the-air DVRs where you can integrate over-the-air channels and Sling TV into a single menu. This video is from a brand new hands-on review that you can find on my website, cordcuttingreport.com. And hey, if this video helps you out and you're gonna buy an Air TV 2 or another over-the-air DVR, please consider using the links below. I'll receive a small commission at no cost to you and that'll help me keep making more reviews and more videos like this one. Oh hey, and if you're interested in buying an Air TV 2, I'll even show you how to get one with an RCA antenna for only 49 bucks. So according to Nielsen, about 16 million homes in the US are currently using a TV antenna to get local channels such as ABC, CBS, and NBC for free. That number is only expected to grow in the years ahead. Just to avoid any confusion, the Air TV 2 is only for recording these local channels you get through a TV antenna. It doesn't record channels you get through your Sling TV account. So if you want to record a favorite show on A&E, you can use your free 10 hours of cloud DVR that comes with your Sling TV subscription. The Air TV 2 is basically a network tuner, so in other words, it's the same TV tuner that's usually found inside of a television. This is a two tuner model. That means you can record and watch up to two programs at once. To start using it, you plug in your TV antenna into the back of the tuner and you scan for channels using the Sling TV app on your smartphone. The Air TV 2 connects to your router over Wi-Fi, so it doesn't need to be near your Wi-Fi router to work, but you do have the option to run an ethernet cord to connect it, and I think that really does make a big difference performance-wise with any internet connected devices in your home. Once you're done setting things up, you can watch your local channels and Sling TV channels on your Roku, Fire TV Stick, NVIDIA Shield, Apple TV, Android smartphones, iPhone, and of course, an Air TV Mini. One of the biggest advantages to the Air TV 2, aside from integrating your streaming and over-the-air channels, is that there's no monthly fees for channel guide data. On your Sling TV account, the settings are for a seven-day channel guide, but during my testing, I only got four days worth of data. So your mileage may vary on this. I don't know if this was a technical issue on my end, but I figured I'd mention it. That said, paying for channel guide data usually runs you between three and eight dollars a month. And generally most of the bigger names such as HD Home Run, Plex, Tableau, they'll give you a 14 day channel guide. To record local channels with the Air TV 2, you need to connect an external hard drive. Some people also use a USB 2.0 flash drive as a budget option, but note, it's a 2.0 and not a 3.0 flash drive. The Air TV 2 only supports USB 2.0. I didn't try the flash drive option, but I thought it was worth mentioning. In my tests, I use a hard drive that came from a computer that I put in a case. I also like to use Western Digital and Seagate hard drives for some of my other DVR setups around the house. A couple of quick things to note about connecting a hard drive to the Air TV 2. The Sling TV app on your TV will prompt you to format the entire hard drive. So do not use a hard drive with data that you wanna keep. Regardless of what size drive you use, the Air TV 2 will only use up to two terabytes of hard drive space. So I wouldn't go out and buy a four terabyte hard drive for recordings, expecting to build up some massive library. Sling TV isn't known for a great channel interface, but there are a couple of ways the Sling TV app serves up local channels that I thought were really nice. One quick way to get to live over the air channels is by hitting the up button, or in my case, 
it was the top of the wheel on my remote control. A footer style menu will pop up and you can move to the top of the menu and choose over the air channels. Of course, you'll also find your local channels if you are browsing under the all channels tab, but using the footer and filtering on this menu gets you there a lot faster. Here's another way. Under the guide tab, you can go over to your filter options in the upper left hand corner and choose over the air. Now the guide just has your local channel. I get a little over 50 channels with my TV antenna. By the way, you can also do this if you're watching TV on your smartphone. Just hit the filter button and choose over the air channels. That's really handy if you're in your garage working on something and you want to have a college football game playing as background. There are some limitations to using the air TV too that you should really know about if you're thinking about buying one. You can't pause an over the air channel with the air TV 2 when you're watching live TV. You can do it with recordings, but not live TV. And you won't be able to see your over the air channels if you're watching Sling TV from a web browser. If you can live without those two things and you're all in with using Sling TV, then I think the air TV could be a real value for you. But let's drill down a little bit more about recordings and picture quality. I recorded a number of college football games from my local ABC station and a few other shows like Frontline on PBS. I was satisfied with the picture quality. All the live TV that I watched through the Air TV 2 was really crisp and bright. The picture quality was on par with the Sling TV channels that I was streaming. I don't think many people would be able to tell the difference between watching over the air channels on Air TV 2 compared to just using a TV antenna. While watching live TV, I did notice that it takes a few seconds for an over the air channel to populate the screen. And there is a slight delay from watching those same channels when you just have a TV antenna plugged directly into the TV. Fast forwarding on recordings is done in increments of 30 seconds and there's no preview window. Rewinding is done in 10 second increments and both worked fine. To get to recordings, I scroll down to the My TV tab and you'll see that I have my over the air recordings and the shows that I've saved through my cloud DVR. Overall, the Air TV 2 worked really well for me and having local channels and streaming channels in one menu is a very nice feature. You're essentially able to replicate a channel lineup that's similar to cable TV at a much lower price. So how does the Air TV 2 stack up against the Fire TV recast? Well, the $99 price tag for the Air TV 2 is a pretty good deal, but if you use a Fire TV stick or a Fire TV cube with your TV, and I think the Amazon Fire TV recast is the better buy. I say that despite the fact that the recast costs more than double than the Air TV 2. Keep in mind that what I'm about to say only applies to Fire TV users. If you have a Roku or a new Google Chromecast, then you can ignore this. The biggest plus the recast has going for it is that it's an OTA DVR that offers a wider channel integration than Air TV 2. So what does that mean? It it means that you can integrate your free over the air channels with Sling TV, but if you suddenly decide to switch to Philo, Hulu with Live TV, or YouTube TV, you could also have any of those streaming services in a single channel guide as well. You can also pull in channels from free streaming services such as Pluto TV, which gives you a couple hundred channels, and the recast supports integrating any Amazon channels that you subscribe to through Amazon Prime, such as as Showtime or HBO, or maybe I should say HBO Max. With the recast, you can pause and rewind live TV, which the Air TV 2 doesn't do. The mobile app for the recast also allows you to watch live TV and recordings from over the air channels when you're outside of your home. I even did that once while stuck at an airport in Aruba. The two tuner model of the recast costs $230 and includes a 14 day channel guide at no charge. Just remember, the recast only works with Fire TV devices. It doesn't work with Roku or Apple TV or any other streaming devices. So is the Air TV 2 worth it? The three key benefits of the Air TV 2 are the integrated channel menu, no monthly fee for channel guide data, and the $99 price tag. The Air TV 2 is half the price of the new Air TV Anywhere, which just came out in September and costs about $200. I haven't tried the Air TV anywhere in part because 
I was in the middle of this review when it was released, but if I was to design the best over-the-air DVR out there, I would without question make sure channel integration was my top feature. Sure, you want a DVR that can record your local NBC and Fox stations in RAW and PEG2. That's going to give you the best possible picture quality of 1080i at 60 frames per second, assuming that's even available. The three most important features for any hardware developer in the streaming game right now are ease of use, integration, and aggregation. The Air TV 2 checks off two out of those three boxes and it does it at a rock bottom price. It's an ideal device for someone on a tight budget or someone who's just looking to save some money and they're sick of paying 150 or 200 bucks a month for a cable TV subscription. So here's how you can get an Air TV 2 even cheaper than 99 bucks I've left a link below on the Sling TV deals page. Right now, if you prepay for three months of Sling TV, you'll get an indoor RCA TV antenna and an Air TV 2 for $49. That's a $50 discount on just the Air TV 2 alone, plus you're getting the TV antenna. On that same page, you can find a similar deal for the Air TV Anywhere. That's going for about 100 bucks, I think. I'm not sure how long Sling will offer these two deals, but I wanted to mention it while I was making this video. To read more about the Air TV 2, head over to my website, cordcuttingreport.com. And if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please consider giving a like and subscribe to this channel right now. Thanks again and see you next time.